I would like to show you how to create some math tests, for example, a multiplication or adding uh, some numbers on a on graph paper by using a table. Uh, at first, I'm going to create a text field, which is always recommended because if you have a table in uh, Microsoft Word and try to move it, um, there are always going to be occurring some um, difficulties. Um, and if you use a text field, you can um, move it in the document really properly. So um, there are not going to be any problems. Uh, I created my text field and now I'm going to add a table. Um, insert a table, for example, a couple of these. And now I'm going to change the format to um, to uh, um, half, half a centimeter. So I have to click um, on this little button here, right click and uh, change the table properties. And on row, I'm going to spef specify the height um, to exactly half a centimeter and the column to have a centimeter as well. And now I have some graph paper. Um, when I write in here, you can see um, it doesn't look uh, good. So I'm gonna add some properties as well or change some properties. Um, I would like to have um, the margins to set to uh, zero and I would like to have a gray line, a dark gray. This looks good. I'm going to uh, change the properties and um, I change it to this uh, alignment, align center, and I'm going to add some more cells by inserting it to the right. So I can fill out my page pretty fast. And I'm going to um, add a multiplication test 32 multiplicated with 16. Uh, by using the tab button, you can uh, jump to the next cell and um, the multiplication dot um, is you can find that uh, by insert and the symbols, more symbols, and you can change the math section here, should be somewhere mathematical operations, and there you can find the bullet operator. I'm going to add a, a shortcut key and I use control and the normal dot and assign that, close it. And whenever I'm going to use control and the normal dot, uh, you're going to have a multiplication dot in your Word document. So I close this and I'm going to add a multiplication dot by using the control and the normal dot. And I'm almost finished. Um, I would like to have um, it underlined by border painting. So I'm going to choose this and create underlinement. I can undo it by drawing a regular line, but I would like to have it underlined. And um, the last thing that I'm going to do is change the color of this text field to white. So you are not going to see it. Um, change it to white. Whenever you click nearby your table, you see these lines. And when you grab them, you can move your table really quickly. If you need some support or you want to suggest some uh, topics for new videos or you want to exchange some documents, I'd be glad if you join my Discord channel. The uh, link for the uh, channel is in the video description. So I hope to see you there.